is chances for the kids. Most of them decided to do bacon and um, eggs because it's a morning class. But there's variations of chicken, beef, pork, anything. Fish could be in it if, if you want. I want you guys who are sitting around to figure out what can we do instead in mini form that can be used as a, a, a lunch, like a lunch pocket, this high-end lunch pocket. Okay? So, um, are you ready? Are you already recording? Yeah. Ooh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. What we started with last, be the day before, is the quick bread. Okay? So, what we ended with in the class was finishing out the master mix. Master mix is a smooth, so you guys can see around here. This is a mixture that actually is the same as Bisquick and can be turned into anything. When it's in this dry form, we can season it with anything we want also. Uh, for eggs and bacon, you can put a little bit extra black pepper would be not nice in it because that did not call for it. Maybe a teaspoon of black pepper. Um, for the sweets, you can put sugar, brown sugar, vanilla, anything else you want this as well. This can be saved in a box and you can be used for pancakes, it can be made for waffles, you can make biscuits, you can make shortbread. This is your base product, okay? This will be inside of your large bag because you should have put your Bisquick in that on day one. Okay, because you have your name on it, you'll get out your mix, and you do not need to use a bowl, we just have to have this for demonstration. So, to finish the dough, so you've got a new clean second bowl. You're going to take your measuring cups, and from your mix, you will only use two cups measured with a dry cup. So dry, one cup measure. We're going to take that, we're going to give that a bit of a drag. Remember, there already is shrugging and flour and everything in there because that was our mixture from the first time. All right. And easy to press it. Like that. Boom. The lower part of your recipe calls for two cups of baking product. That's what it says right there in step two. And also, you'll see, this is what's left over. This leftover is going to be put into a box we have that's called master mix down here on the cart so i'm going to open up this bring it back up to the counter this is what culinary three turned into focaccia this biscuit bread the first day of school so we're going to save those to make pancakes or something later okay go back wash your hands because that was dirty okay. Pastry blender out here. Okay, give it a rinse. And Ow, it's hot. Okay, so I have my pastry blender. I have my clean hands. Go to the next thing. Next thing you see in step two, it says to have a quarter uh, cup of butter, which is half of a stick. Just gonna put that little guy in there. Hard. Boom. Like such. You're then going to take that, and if I wanted pepper or something else, I could do to it. But this, I think, because I'm making mine sweet, I'm going to spin around my sugar on the floor, man. That to wait a minute. Okay, that's probably about two tablespoons, but I want it sweet though. Okay, so I've got my master mix, my butter. And a little extra sugar for, because I'm going to turn this into a strawberry one. You guys didn't know you're having strawberry pastry today. Okay. So if you can see in the mirror up there, I don't know if you can or not, it looks a lot like the pe uh, pie crust. Got a lot of fat in it. Um, so, once again, if you're using this correctly, not have a whole bunch of junk hanging on this when it's done. Okay, there's your crumb. No. Now, it's ready to go to turn into the dough. We are going to take, it says, question mark, question mark, question mark, milk. If we read the instructions down here, we put this stuff in, we're going to blend milk with a fork to create a light dough. I didn't tell you how much, because otherwise people put too much. I got my milk. You would get yours into a glass measuring cup, but I don't want to have the extra time to do that. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put a little bit in there. For the purposes of what I'm at, right now I'm just going to take my knife, give it a little bit of a smear. It starts to ball together. 
just a little bit. If it happens to get too much, you can add back some flour if you need to or more master mix. But the idea is just so it's just barely doughy. Okay. Now if I take this and move with my hands, kind of scooping action like this, it's going to turn into dough. I can see a little bit more right there, still slightly dry. Just a smidge. If you get yours in a glass measuring cup, you then don't have to have the container with you every single minute. I'm going to take that. I am going to knead it just enough so it turns into a ball. Just making sure all my things are together. Oh, lovely. Now, I prefer to have this a little bit drier because it's going to be a pastry and it's going to be gooey in the middle. So it's a little bit on the drier side. It's still soft. So I'm going to take it again and I'm going to squish it kind of soft a little bit. Okay. Now, at this point, tomorrow, you're going to cut this into two pieces. You're going to put it into these bags, so the small bags, because one side is going to be made two pieces when you bake it on Friday. So, when you're making your dough tomorrow, or it'll be today because when you listen to this, cut this ball in half, one ball goes in one, one ball goes in another, and that gets put away. You'll be back on Friday. I'll show you how to build this, and then I'll show you the finished product.